Hey everybody, welcome to another show of Breaking the Mold. I'm your host, Mike Bellardi, here with local Florham Park, New Jersey locals. That doesn't make sense, but I made it make sense. Solfage Radio. Hey, hey, hey guys. Hey. Uh, hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Man? Welcome oh. to the show. You guys know where y'all are? Yeah. Yeah, some cozy futon. Maplewood right. University. Like you guys Quite cozy? warm, yeah. Nice, nice. The most cozy. So, how are you guys doing today? We're doing pretty good. How about yourself? Oh me, I'm actually I'm actually enjoying myself. Oh awesome. Yeah, good to hear. It's just good most important. Nice. Um, so you guys want to introduce yourselves and what you guys do in each of the, each member of the band? Sure. Let's take it right from there. All right. Um, I'm John. I play guitar in the band. I'm Joey. I play rhythm guitar and sing backup vocals. I'm Marco. I do lead vocals. I'm Donnie. I play the bass, and we're missing Maddie. Who plays the drums. He's yeah. sick with three different. Diseases. Yeah, he has like mono diseases. and scarlet fever. Yeah. And scarlet. strep throat. Uh, he's yeah. a zombie. He's dying. Really? Yeah. You guys hoping to have him back in a couple of days though, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Real nice. So, um, now, you guys are on a small couple dates. You have a couple dates in the Northeast for the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, and tonight you'll be playing Far Ways Away with City Lights, who we just got done interviewing previously. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys totally stoked for the show? Yeah, we're real stoked. We wish we had little Maddie to play full band, but... It, we're still gonna we're gonna play and we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're all really excited. We're doing acoustic set, so yeah. real cool. Very cool. Now, for the people who are uh, not from the not from New Jersey, and since we're local in Pennsylvania, um, not too many people understand what Soulfish Radio is. Can you guys uh, give a little bit uh, like elaborate as to who you guys are and what you guys represent as far as music goes, where the name came from? Oh wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow! Wow! So many wow. things. But um, we are basically your typical like. High school, you know, good pop punk band from New Jersey. Well, like good meaning like having a good time, and um, <laughs> that's kind of what we're all about is having a good time, and uh, we write songs about having a good time. And uh, but the name, someone else wanted to take no. over the name. It's a mystery. Yeah, no it's idea. a mystery. It's been lost yeah. in time. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Open no, for interpretation. Mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you guys been together? January two thousand eight. Yep. About so like a year and. Six months. Whole months, lineup months, continuously. More than that. Well, it started out of four piece, and then I I joined um, for the last two shows of the Battle of the Bands they were doing, and then um, we we did that and we ended up winning and we got signed to Danimal, and then we uh, we added Donnie to the lineup and ever since it's been solid and it's been awesome. It's been a lot of Which fun. Which was about like two months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. months ago. Be- end of the summer ish. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty exciting. Now, you guys are a fairly young band, like we were saying. Um, since you guys were established in 2008, how does uh, how does that benefit you in this kind of young, modern lifestyle of music where um, labels are sprouting up out of nowhere and bands with kids younger than, than some of us can even imagine beginning to tour and all that stuff? How does uh, being a young band in this generation kind of benefit that? Hmm. Honestly, it, it actually gets a little more complicated because... With everyone still like, other than me and Donnie being in college, like everyone's still in high school. Yeah. Um. So like, we're we limited to tour. Yeah. Yeah, we're limited to playing shows on weekends. And then summer the tour school, and to, like balancing all like high school stuff with with rehearsals and shows and everything. But at the same time, it's pretty sweet being able to be like, yeah, this weekend I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be away all weekend. Three different states. So yeah. I'll see you Monday. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's it's cool. It's fun. So you guys kind of pr- prioritize it in a way. You know, you guys are keeping school first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta balance it I think, out. Yeah, you know? it's just I all about it. You can make it all work. Balance. Being a young band definitely could be beneficial too, because like I feel like people love that. Like like if you look at like Justin Bieber right now, like and how well he's doing, it's mostly because he's so time. young. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> blowing up the radio. Nice, real nice. Now, young bands, you guys already have an EP out, which is totally awesome. Um, the EP has two songs, right? Well, what it is right now is we we're kind of recording songs like every like couple months whenever we can so right now we have two songs done there's a third on the way and hopefully um by winter time there's gonna be uh we're gonna release a uh like a five song ep hopefully so we're just gonna record a couple more songs and then release as a little ep but the two songs we have now are up on itunes third one's on its way mm-hmm. so we're kind of doing it that way cool and you guys are also contacted through myspace as well i would imagine correct right. yep. yeah. myspace.com slash soulfudge radio yeah. soulfudge radio pure volume facebook twitter, twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Seems like Twitter's the new crazy these days. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love Twitter. Follow it was us. so funny when we got when we first got our MySpace. Um, we got like Twitter hooked up, up for it. it yeah. So like at first it was just 
the five of us using Twitter, and you know, there's only so much you could do with five people on Twitter. And then eventually, we like just got all of our friends yeah. to do it. Like, you and gotta get it's it's awesome, dude. Now, like get one, <laughs> every, sweet. That's before we were actually like really into it, like we were. And then everyone yeah. did it, and now everyone loves it. It's really it's it's, it's where it's at these days. So that's how you guys kind of keep in touch with your fan base, keep people updated. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. definitely. So cool. sounds sounds pretty fun. I, I personally do not have a Twitter. Get I'm on that. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can get on it. But we'll like, I mean, Facebook. maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll get breaking the mold on Twitter one of these days. There you go. Sounds yeah, good. Do it. Or actually, no, I think we are, we do have a Twitter. I would imagine. <laughs> you should just get a group of your friends. You should all sit in a room one night and just make your Twitters and go to town. <laughs> Twitter parties. Don't even Twitter talk parties. to each Great. other. Yeah, just, just like don't just even text each, each other. other. Don't no, call each other on the no, phone. Just no update through Twitter status. Update. Right on. <laughs> Sounds like a great time. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> you guys have aside from twittering, writing songs, planning on the third, and planning on an EP. So full length is kind of far down the road, right? Yeah. I mean, what we'll probably end up doing is is putting out an EP and then um, touring over the summer. And on that EP, yeah. Yeah, on that EP, and maybe like during it, working on a full length, just keep yeah. writing and everything. It just it doesn't really make sense right now for us to do it, like something that that large because it's you really have to work every single song that you want to get out there, you know, as a single and really push it for a month or so, a couple months, do whatever with it. So for now, we're just gonna work it like that and try to get something solid out there in the winter. Pretty strong, pretty strong, pretty strong hopes for you guys, without a doubt. Um, what do you look for from your fans? Uh, you guys go to shows, especially on the weekends. Um, you have these songs out. What do you guys expect from for such a young band and your young fans? Well, just to not care and have a good time. Exactly. I think that's like yeah. the main message of like, what we're yeah. trying to bring, you know? Because like, that's what it's all about. That's why we're doing this, you know? Because we absolutely love it. And, yeah. and we want them to love it too. You know? You know. So if you, like, I guess for fans, if... if like what we expect out of them, well, we can't really expect anything out of them. But um, just have a good time. Exactly. Yeah. Like if we see people at shows just like having a good time, singing our singing our songs, it's the best feeling, like hands down ever. It's the coolest. Definitely, yeah. So very very free spirited kind of yeah. mindset. Mm-hmm. Definitely trying to bring the fun back into the shows. You know, the fire hall yeah. is the, the place to be. You know. Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. A couple of years ago, whatever it was. Sounds good. Well. I want to say thank you guys for coming in. We're going to get to our fun segment of the show. You think you guys can handle that? I think so. I think we're ready. Yeah, we don't fall back asleep. <laughs> Let's try not to do that. It's only okay. a two-minute break. Okay. Right? So crazy. we're excited to have you here, and we've covered a lot. But right now we're going to get to – got to do this. i I got I to rush right through this. You heard it first here from Soulfridge Radio. When we return, we're going to get to some of the nice fun sides that uh, BTM has to offer. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Woo.